Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, the first annual Great Gnome Paint Off Award Show. My name is Kyle Dalton, aka Pale King Hobby. Um, you might know me from around social media, posting random stuff, uh, miniatures that I painted, etc. Um, and if you're not familiar with what we're doing here today, uh, earlier this year I got a hold of some sculpts from Mr. Tom Mason, who's a fantastic artist. Um, he did a little Kickstarter for these gnome models he had painted, and I did some of them up, and they blew up on social media. People absolutely loved them. A lot of questions about where they came from, and I've been wanting to run a painting competition for a while now, because um, I've been entering them for, for quite some time, so I'll do one myself, uh, and it seemed just like the perfect thing to do it for. So I sent a message to Tom, who's a wonderful dude. Uh, he participated uh, with me, and he threw in some prize support, and he helped me do some judging, and um, go and support him, please. There's a link down below for his socials uh, and his, uh, his web store. I feel like the models go buy them, because they rock. Um, but today we're going to look at some of the models, uh, we're going to look at who the winners are, uh, and I want to talk just a little bit about the process of how I pick them, and just kind of be clear about what I kind of came down to with the decision making. It was really hard um, being on the other end of this now, because I've done competitions and I'm wondering what happened or you know what was the final decision between this model and that model and you know obviously when you're personally involved in it it's it's personal right like it feels like it at least so um, I just want to be transparent about where the decision making came from and it came down to a really uh, frankly impossible choice uh, between the three uh, category winners for best in show uh, and the, my Pale King pick which I'm sending out a, a copy of one of my favorite art books uh, to the winner of that um, but yeah, the models are awesome. Um, just to give you a sense of scale, this is one of them that I did earlier this year. Um, he's little. I mean, they're, uh, they're tiny. So what you're seeing here is, is that big. Uh, don't forget that when it's, you know, blown up. It's four times as big on your phone screen, you know, so, um, Let's check out some cool stuff and uh, make sure too, there'll be links for all these artists uh, below. So check those out and make sure you give them some love and uh, yeah, I hope you guys like what you see. Okay, starting it off here. So open category, uh, we only had two entrants. Um, so both of them are in place here obviously. So silver, uh, Mr. Timothy Dillon, she to them. Um, I'm not familiar with this gentleman, but he did enter in all three categories. Um, I think he painted like the whole range, which is awesome. Um, super cool to see like everything done. Um, so nice to see like a little picture diorama going on too. I like that he did different color hats on everybody. Um, I would have liked to maybe seen some different colored beards, but nice uniform basing as well. And you know, it's good stuff. So and I definitely like uh, you gotta love the little the marriage up at the front. Um, I like that Tom did these uh, kind of different kind of uh, stylized gnomes, and, uh, and I think they work great together. So, silver, uh, Mr. Timothy Dylan Cheatham. Um, in first place for open, we've got Mr. Aaron Call. Uh, Aaron knocked it out of the park, dude. This thing is awesome. Aaron's one of uh, a local buddy of mine uh, in the Chicagoland paint group, and um, he had had this kind of mocked up he brought us one of our meetups a couple months ago and everybody was like man this is, is sick and uh man just awesome i love the screws give you like a cool scale like they are just like that big and you know the cap as well and you know um you gotta love the flower pot it's like super creative it fits obviously the garden gnome kind of motif and um some different colored beards some different color hats um i love the striations it's personally like a style that I used to paint in a lot with like a lot of, you know, kind of the lines going on. Um, and it's hard to tell, but there is a little portal back there um, that, uh, that they're coming out of. So uh, very creative, uh, great use of like real life uh, materials. Uh, and it just, uh, Aaron knocked on the park, so gold for Mr. Aaron Cole. On uh, to unit, um, we've got uh, honorable mention for Mr. Timothy Dillon Cheatham. Um, this is again gnomes, um, cool like different hats and stuff. And I love the basing, and I love the, again the photography. You know, kind of incorporating some more stuff around them to build that world out is, is always cool. So uh, honorable mention for Timothy Dillon Cheatham. Now for unit, our bronze, Mr. Ethan Rowe. 
Uh, I love that he gave these guys the Hallbirds. It's a conversion off of the base models, and uh, they're hilarious and uh, and they're very cool. Um, I think if I've got any problems with them, I think maybe some basing would have gone a long way here. Uh, I, I would definitely have liked to seen some kind of uh, grasses or uh, sands or whatever going on. So, but you know, they're. Uh, they're fun. They're a little scary. I think they're a little scarier with the kind of the the darker red tone, and then uh, they're terrifying halberds. So, um, yeah, very cool. Uh, On to our silver, and this was really hard to pick between the two of these guys, um, but we wound up going with uh, Mr. Ian Jung. Jung? Jung? He can yell at me later. He's another local friend. Uh, he did a great job with these. I love the blue hats. Uh, I love the basing. Love the frog, and I know he sculpted the hat on the frog. Uh, and I think the idea kind of was to have like this mercenary unit, or the frog's a mercenary, and he's with the he's with the gnomes. But either way, they they look awesome. Um, yeah, they're great. They're just great. So uh, very cool stuff. And I love the frog is really probably the best thing. And it's this kind of the color theory thing where you know you've got the most saturated color. Uh, is the greens kind of going on in the frog and he's obviously the biggest thing in the center so you get kind of drawn to him great photography I think love a little bit of dirt up on the shovels uh, is a nice little uh, quick touch to do uh, on your stuff to give it a little bit more character just that little bit of weathering so awesome stuff uh, and then onto gold for unit uh, Mr. Chris Chung uh, Chris is a Las Vegas painter he came out of the scene not too long ago I've been kind of following him the last year and a half that he's been on the scene, he does awesome stuff, and he sent me these, and I was just absolutely in love with them. Uh, it's like the Gnome Avengers, dude. It's the, like it's the Gnome Avengers. They're so freaking cool. Uh, there's freehand, and there's great volumes, and there's textures, and there's uh, OSL, and there's a little butt, a little green butt. So. Um, bases are also great. You've got that classic superhero basing style with the with the streets and the street lines, um, and I love the different colored beards. How they all match kind of the characters. You get the blonde on uh, on Mr. Steve Rogers in the middle, and uh, they're uh, they're very very cool. Um, I think for me, from a technical standpoint, from a technical painting standpoint, this is the best thing in the competition. Uh, Chris knocked it out of the park. I think he just killed it and it's it's awesome so uh gold for mr chris chunk uh and then on to our single figure category um i've got an honorable mention here for mr sal zavala sal uh i know knocked this out and pretty quickly just a couple hours and it came out awesome um i think it's fantastic i love the look on the pig how he's looking over um, I like the blue hat again. Kind of, it's funny kind of seeing the blue hats and the red hats and the division between the, the blue and the red, and the kind of thought it was a funny, you know, little Crips and Blood thing. But uh, I think that Sal did a great job here, especially with the time. And uh, we were all kind of on Discord painting. Uh, you know, Ian and, uh, and Sal here were painting up until the last minute to get their stuff finished up on the, at, the, at midnight on the deadline. So. Um, that. Sorry. Uh, so yeah, Sal killed it. Uh, honorable mention for him. Uh, just barely edging him out, uh, Mr. Rich Dreads, uh, with his uh, same model, Mr. Pig Rider. So uh, I think for me the deciding factor here was just uh, the beard, I think, is a little tighter. Uh, and I think I like the pink on, um, on Rich's uh, pig a little bit more. And obviously the base, you've got kind of that garden motif going on again with uh, with the clay pot. Um, the base is maybe a little big for the model. I think you could maybe tighten it up a little bit. Or, uh, but I do like that he did the grasses, the tall grasses in the background to frame the model a bit. And I like the leaves. And, uh, it's very cool. So, and the red hat won out over the blue hat, so make of that what you will. But uh, yeah, single figure bronze for Mr. Richard Dreads. And to our silver... Uh, is going to be uh, Mr. Anthony Wang. If you are familiar with the painting community on the large, you might know Anthony's work. Uh, and Anthony did the bird keeper, uh, and he did uh, some great sculpting on the nests and all the eggs, and uh, I think it's great. Uh, the lighting is obviously very dynamic. We've got this strong light coming in from our left-hand side. 
and uh, kind of this cool, kind of colder blues going on on the other side. Uh, and I think it works very well. I think he was kind of on the time crunch as well, and he's been busy as of late. So, but I still think he did a fantastic job, and I love the sculpting that he did uh, on the base work. And I think it's supposed to be like a, uh, let me say like a branch trimmer deal going on with the, uh, the stick that he's got. And I kind of like that he's just like his beard so big that it's just like stuck in him. So I thought that was pretty fun. And again, I like to really like the color uh, situation with how bright and kind of that yellow situation you get on the left hand side. And then when you go over to the right, you get quite a different color going on. So Anthony did a great job, uh, silver and single figure. So uh, now onto our gold and single figure, uh, Dragon Eye Miniatures, gold and single figure. Um, I believe that she's a lady who did this, so I'm just going to say she for my referencing for the rest of this. Sorry if I'm offending anybody with that, or if I'm just wrong. Uh, this is fucking cool, man. It's just great. It is, uh, like, the work that was put into the birds is awesome. When I did my version of this model, I just, like, was, like, like kind of just phoned it in and just did colored birds, which she did obviously the blue jay and the cardinal and like they read super well and again that model is, is not big so uh she did a great job with that i love 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 the basing uh both the style of the sculpts fit with the sculpt itself and uh just kind of the composition is very nice i think that the little dots are meant to be bugs as well so you know again that little bit of world building those little touches bringing it to life i love the green shadows um, and I think the color palette in itself, just kind of having that, these pastel-y colors, so not super poppy, it's, I think it works, uh, I think it works great, and it just comes together in a beautiful, beautiful way. So, uh, this is awesome, it's, it's, it's absolutely fantastic, so I'm um, excited to see more of, of their miniatures, her miniatures, their miniatures, and the future. Uh, so yeah, gold, single figure, dragon eye miniatures. Uh, now on to the difficult part, now this was really, uh, it could have gone any way. Uh, any of the three category winners could have easily been the Pale King pick or the Best in Show. Um, and I decided to just kind of cop out on it, to be honest. So make of that what you will. But uh, Pale King pick is going to be a tie. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with both Aaron and Chris on this one. Um, I think that they both have their own merits, right? Like I think, again, Chris's is technically... A bit better. I think the volumes are a little tighter. Again, there's freehand, there's OSL, there's a little bit more, um, just a little bit more exploring and kind of different uh, stuff going on. Um, they both got the NMM, and the, you know, Aaron's NMM is awesome. And um, you know, and, and I think just Aaron having the full scene going on and having all these great materials that he's using, and to a wonderful effect, like they're both just so cool. And again, like the, either one of them could have easily been the best in show. Um, I just think that for me, the best in show edged them out by like a little bit from the parameters I'd set forward initially. Uh, and so yeah, uh, both of these guys are gonna get a copy of uh, Color and Light from James Gurney from me. Um, so I'll get those out soon. And uh, if you haven't read that, that's definitely, if you wanna start exploring some of the stuff that I'm talking about uh, and, and get to where these guys are, uh, that's a great place to start, so. Uh, yeah, Pale King picks Mr. Aaron Call and uh, Mr. Chris Chung. Uh, and then, finally, Best in Show. Gotta do it. Uh, Dragon Eye Miniatures. Uh, as soon as I saw this piece, I was like, that's gonna wind up winning, isn't it? Because it's just, I, I just love it. I absolutely adore it. Um, Dragon Eye just killed this thing, so I'm um, gonna get something very special for them. And, uh, and yeah, so there is the winners, guys. I hope you... Uh, Hope you liked them. Guys, thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, me, us, we. Uh, hope you come back soon. Uh, hopefully I'll have some more videos up soon. Of course I'll be painting more. I've got a ton of stuff in the pipeline, maybe too many things on the desk, but such is life. Uh, make sure we check us out on socials, all the winners, check them out. Make sure you go uh, give Tom Mason some love and uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day. See you soon.